The health information contained herein is provided for educational purposes only and not intended to replace discussions with a healthcare provider. All decisions regarding patient care must be made with a healthcare provider considering the unique characteristics of the patient. Now let's meet your healthcare team. You may also hear your team referred to as a multidisciplinary team or MDT. This means that it's made up of different types of healthcare professionals with different specialties. While you may only work with some of the people in these roles depending on your treatment, here are some of the main ones you may meet. You're probably most familiar with your general practitioner, or GP. They may have been the first person to raise the possibility that you need further tests or may have lung cancer. Or they may have referred you to a pulmonologist, a medical doctor who specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of lung disease. As part of the diagnostic process, a pulmonologist may need tests to make a diagnosis and recommend treatment. These tests may include an X-ray, a computerized tomography, CT scan, a positron emission tomography, PET scan, or a biopsy with biomarker testing to give your doctors a more complete picture. An oncologist can help to manage your whole cancer treatment plan and is often the key healthcare professional who collaborates with other members of your healthcare team. For optimal care, it's important for all cancer patients to have an oncologist on their care team, no matter their treatment type, stage, or monitoring. After you have discussed treatment options with your provider, it may be helpful to get a second opinion. Lung cancer treatment approaches aren't one size fits all, and hearing a different view on your specific treatment plan can help you feel sure about your next steps. Getting a second opinion may help ensure you have explored different treatment options, while also helping you find the right doctor for you in terms of communication style. If you're comfortable speaking with your current physician about seeking a second opinion, they may be able to recommend other practitioners. If it's determined that surgical resection, also known as removal of your cancer, is an option, then a surgeon is the healthcare professional who would be consulted. You'll probably see nurses most often. They'll work with all the doctors on your team throughout your care. Depending on where you are treated, you may also have a treatment coordinator, nurse navigator, or a contact nurse to help with your overall treatment plan and appointments. A radiation oncologist is a highly trained doctor who specializes in radiation therapy which uses carefully targeted doses of high-energy radiation to kill cancer cells. A pathologist determines the type and stage of lung cancer. You probably won't meet with them, but you will receive their pathology report. Radiologists play an important role in determining the detection, diagnosis, staging, and management of lung cancer. There are additional specialists who may help with other issues involving your treatment. Learning how to communicate and partner with your healthcare team is one of the most important things you can do as you work together towards the same goal. They will play an essential role in determining the course of your treatment and its success. Now, let's recap what we just learned in this section before we move on. What to know. Not all lung cancers are treated in the same way. You may be treated by several different doctors as part of a multidisciplinary team. Nurses and other specialists will play a big role in your overall care. What to do? Consider getting a second opinion. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Choose an oncologist to be part of your healthcare team. And share life and treatment goals with your team.